Well, beautiful day to you. I'm Matt Stevens. I buy old records. It's a fairly chilly morning today. I'm uh, heading down south. Got to do a little bit of, uh, oh, I guess you'd say, maintenance work. I've got my old Presto K8 uh, from 1936. That's that record cutting machine that I've been making my own rockabilly and blues type 78s on. A little bit of hillbilly too. It's uh, going through a, oh, I don't know, a little bit of trauma. Might be a tube related problem. Uh, I know just one of the little gizmos in there isn't doing something it shouldn't do. That's how cognizant I am about how things work. So, I'm heading down to Austin and I'm gonna have old Alberto take a look at it. He sold it to me, he's a wizard. Wow, with anything tube related. I believe he calls his uh, company Atomic Tube. And uh, the guy knows what to do, how to do it. And he's a hell of a musician too. I've played with him a few times. Nice guy, has a fascinating shop. And then I'm gonna go look for records. Why? Because I buy old records. So, sun's coming up. It's almost 7 a.m. I've been on the road for, I don't know, an hour and something. So, uh, today should be a full day of happiness, joy, getting my old Presto dropped off, if not picked up today. I've just gotta see what his schedule uh, allows for. And then I'll be back in the record cutting business and hopefully I'll have a stack of good 45 or 78 records to boot. All right, let's hit the road. Okay, almost made it to my first stop of the day. That's gonna be Alberto's house and uh, tube repair shop. Well, he doesn't just fix tubes, I'm saying. He fixes tube powered uh, implements of sonic destruction. In my case, my uh, old uh, disc cutter. He works on amplifiers and this and that. and just things that use vacuum tubes. It's a marvelous thing. I'm gonna drop off my 70 pound or so uh, monster of a record cutting machine. Get him to take a look at that. And then I'll just see what the rest of the day brings, but I do have uh, some record shops to go to, maybe some antique malls. Well, I've made it here. This is Alberto's shop. Say hi, Alberto. Hi. Yes, he's modest, but I'll tell you what, the guy, in my estimation, is a genius. He's got the repair shop here that just, and see, he has good terms, a dollar down and easy payments, but uh, he's just got all sorts of stuff here, and if it runs on tubes, he can fix it, or he can tell you where to dump it. It's just an incredible place. I like, of course, the old reel-to-reels. That looks just like one... I saw a couple of weeks ago out in West Texas. So, I mean, this is the place where my old uh, Presto is going to be rejuvenated. So, uh, I'm going to get out of his hair and let him work. That's how it should be heard. Well, that was fun. I've got a big load of Magnetic tape here, reel to reel, uh, five, seven, and ten inch size. And uh, there's an unopened carton of RCA tape from the 50s. And I'm using that in Argentina this year to record my In the Groove Boys and Los Paganos del Ritmo on my old 1961 uh, reel to reel, my Sony that I carry with me. It's portable, it's only 10 kilograms. So let's go find some records. Well, all right, I have arrived a few minutes before they open. Antones, it's a great store. It's got lots of uh, cool, funky stuff in there. A lot of Texas music. I have go here a time or two a year when I get down in the area. And I like hitting it between the two big record shows that are here every year. Uh, the Austin record show is usually twice a year and I like to hit it kind of in the middle, let them get all their stuff together and have it, you know, ready because I deserve to have stuff. So, I'm gonna wait till they open, then I'm gonna go find stuff. I'm getting a handful of stuff here that's pretty cool. I'm enjoying that, so I'm gonna go through the country section now.
fiddling barber. to the uh, Star Day label. Well, I am most pleased with what I found. Found some cool stuff. Some I'll keep, some I'll probably try to move. Uh, Dallas, Texas Garage, probably the best version of that song. Uh, Charles Christie and the Crystals, Cherry Pie. And this is kind of cool. It's just a odd Fort Worth rock and roll. I, didn't, I don't think it had a guitar break or anything like that. Billy Kate, really great rocking country by Ursel Standridge. You know him, he was old man Standridge's son. <laughs> and then, uh, this is really great. I Want My Gal by Tommy Duncan with Smokey Rogers. That is a really good early attempt at slow to medium paced rockabilly. And then a bunch of copies of, uh, well, four, three or four, I think, of Ike Ritter doing Coma Victim, which is just, I played it, it's a remarkably cool record couple of uh, things from uh, Austin country record run around heart by Ken Lawrence and Louis Steffick I believe they were a polka outfit and then I am a rambler by Lefty Morris not to be confused with his twin brother righty Morris a couple more of the Ike Ritters funny some were two dollars some were four dollars jitterbug jamboree a good black uh, type r&b rocker thingy and then just some straight cunt well no it's not straight country it's a uh, teen vocal group on a uh, austin label it's pretty decent not a big money record or anything but i like it and that's all that matters let's go do some more looking <sighs> and uh it's fun so far let's just keep going well i'm rocking and rolling down the highway again on my way back to Dripping Springs. I was just here about, oh, two weeks ago, maybe, and uh, went to see Jurgen, paid off a big chunk of what I owed him on that Bobby Wood record. You remember that one, Sun 369, Human Emotions. Well, I've got a little bit left to pay on that, so I'm carrying some boxes of records to him, do some more trading, get that done, and uh, hopefully uh, sell some more on top and then it's back to La Hacienda, where I can take it easy. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day, and I ain't forgetting Valentine's Day. Uh-uh. I want to live. Oh, I want to live. So, that's the plan for the day. Okay, I'll be there in just a moment, and I'll jump out and unload these records. Don't know if I'll film inside or not. I don't think he'll mind. I'm going to try to rope him in and tell me some good Ray Campy stories. He's been a longtime friend of Ray. And, uh, you know, if you know Ray Campy, he's uh, one of the or originators or first, uh, I guess you'd say first generation rockabillies and just a great guy. Oh, my. I listened to his uh, Rolling Rock LPs while growing up, and that inspired me to play more At rockabilly. The the street, turn right. Okay, I'm going to do just what she said. And I better watch where I'm going. That's a long hill to go tumbling down. Well, I'm almost done with a four hour play and show off record session. About to move a bunch of them back into the car, head back down to Dallas. Back down, back up to Dallas. Back north to Dallas. That's where I'm going. 
Oh, I am tired. I still got to go pick up my uh, 1936 Presto, and I'll be doing that. And I'll take it easy going home. I'll get home late, but not too late. So uh, don't forget I buy old records, and I'm glad you came with me this trip. Whew, I am tired, folks. Um, I had to set for literally right at five hours in one spot while I, you know, while we looked at records, played records, talked about records, and that part is fun. It's just the agony that you have after you realize, oh, I've been sitting here for about five hours and you start to move around and get up. But I got everything loaded back in the car and uh, bar an accident, I'll be home probably about 11 or so tonight. It's been a good day, did some good business, and I just love good business. So uh, y'all be good. Please be sure and subscribe. I really need that. And uh, tell others, okay, come ride with me again. Well, that was a long day. A bit of an addendum here. I did go and pick my uh, Presto uh, disc cutter, the 1936 model. Picked it up. It's working great. Nothing major was wrong, just some adjustment and such. And uh, so now I've got, oh, about two and a half hours more before I get back home. It's gonna be a late night. So I had to stop at Bucky's and get me a banana pudding and some coffee. See if that tides me over till I get to the next water burger. <sighs> See you fine folks later.